Joe Biden gave an interview to uh, Hardwood. Is that his last? Oh. John Hardwood uh, from po ProPublica, I guess. And uh, I have to say, Biden, at least in this interview, seemed pretty lucid, uh, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. But um, what I thought was uh, fascinating, again, is, uh, no, I want you to put up the uh, tweet so that we can see what the RNC uh, said. The RNC research people said, um, Biden, when I left the Senate, I was able to convince uh, Strom Thurmond to vote for the Voting Rights Act. Thurman died in 2003, while Biden didn't leave the Senate until 2009. The Voting Rights Act passed in 1965 before Biden was in office. Now, I think it's possible. Well, let's listen to the clip first and hear it just to establish that he said that. There are millions of Americans who think the country is changing in ways that are harmful to whites, men, social conservatives, small town, blue collar America. A poll by the Public Religion Research Institute showed that 40% of the people who call themselves Christian nationalists think that patriots may need to use violence to save the country. Is that fear of change where the threat to democracy comes from? When I left the Senate, I was able to convince Strom Thurmond to vote for the Voting Rights Act. Strom Thurmond. And uh, I thought, you know, you can, you, you can defeat hate. Uh -huh. You can bury it. You can kill it. But I learned you can't. All you can do is you can drive it underground. Uh -huh. And when you breathe oxygen under the rock, it comes roaring back out again. And I think one of the things that I see, you may recall in the 2020 campaign, I said, I speak to you not from Wall Street. I speak to you from Scranton, Pennsylvania. That was a bit of a populist point, but it was a genuine point that in fact, I represent all those people. I will represent all those people, but there is a real play. The, the world's changing, John, and we're gonna be, the fact is, we're gonna be very shortly a minority white European country. Right. And sometimes uh, my colleagues don't speak enough to make it clear that, that does, that's not gonna change how we operate. That's not going to change them. You focused on. OK. All right. So uh, let's be clear here. Let's put up that uh, the RNC uh, research thing. Um, he's saying, um, Biden, when I left the Senate and he wasn't saying when I left the Senate, I was able to convince the I was able to convince Strom Thurmond to vote for the Voting Rights Act was a um, uh, was a tangent. What he started to say was when I went left the Senate and then he uh, sort of. Dot, dot, dot. Had a, uh, in fact, I was able to convince Strom Thurmond to vote for the Voting Rights Act when, uh, when I was in the Senate. And then when I, and at that time, I thought you could kill hate. But when I left the Senate, I realized you can't. That's what that construction is. But the, the point that they're trying to make is that how could Joe Biden have convinced Strom Thurmond to vote for the Voting Rights Act when the act was passed in 1965 before Biden was in office. I was about to say, I don't know if the RNC research. Intern? I, intern. Well, I think the head of RNC research may also not be aware that the Voting Rights Act was reauthorized multiple times, like five or six times. 70, 75, 82, 1992, 2006. And then we beat and, racism. And, but, the, but the point is, with that reauthorization, too, we should say, it's really important because, um, and I don't know which year it was that he uh, was in charge of, I think there was one year where he was supposedly supposed to whip some of these people and try and lobby them to sign on. And each time it was reauthorized, I think the first couple of times it was reauthorized for like five years or 10 years, and then like a couple of times it was reauthorized for like 25 years. Because people thought originally, like, oh, we, we, we're going to take care of this quick. And they started to realize, like, oh, this is a lot more durable than I thought it was. And each time it was slightly modified, too. Right. It was amended. This is relevant because in t I think the last time it was reauthorized was in, like, 2006 or 2007. And this is important. It's not when, uh, uh, you know, uh, Biden did it with Strom Thurmond. But... In 2013, the Supreme Court 
then dominated by conservatives, including uh, uh, Anthony Kennedy, looked at the Voting Rights Act and began its assault on it with now John Roberts as its uh, chief justice. John Roberts, when he was in uh, Reagan's administration early 80s, really had, um, uh, was excited uh, below the belt, as it were, to get rid of the Voting Rights Act and to undermine it. And uh, 2013 was his first bite at that apple, as it were, not to mix metaphors. And they got rid of the pre-clearance provisions of Section 5, which said there are like 14 counties, I think it was, in the, in the course of like nine states, including two counties in New York, right, right over here in Queens, one of, one of the counties, where there has been a history of voter suppression of minorities and you cannot change the voting rules in those states or counties without the DOJ signing off on it first because of your history of discrimination. And in that year, uh, Scalia in 2013 said, even though the Senate just reauthorized the Voting Rights Act in 2007 or 2006, whenever it was, five or six years earlier, seven years earlier. We think they only did it because they did. They, it's so embarrassing to be seen as voting against it that they would be perceived as racist. Mm -hmm. And they really didn't want to do that. Remember, this is the guy who said, like, I'm a textualist. You know, we don't make law. Yeah. We only follow what the Congress said. And they literally wrote that they, their vote was invalid because Scalia could see into their hearts and they just didn't want to be made. But they were racing. lying. And they were, they, or, yeah, they just, they yeah. were doing it. They were forced into, they were coerced to do it because, and racism is basically over. So we're not going to give any special entitlements uh, to people. And that's when they began their assault on the Voting Rights Act that continues really until this day. Yeah. Um, 10-year project and probably a uh, 15 or 20-year project where they will eliminate all of it in terms of the Voting Rights Act. Yeah. But uh, the Republicans are trying to push this narrative that Joe Biden is, is senile, so this is what they do. And they also wouldn't mind obscuring the fact that this has been reauthorized. This is not just something that was passed 60 years ago. It was reauthorized 10 years ago. And it was supposed to be reauthorized for 10 years more than even now. But the uh, Supreme Court began to uh, whittle away at it. And it's a small coup, but that's actually the threat to democracy, not uh, white supremacists and militias uh, threatening, because that's a law enforcement issue that we can easily deal with, in my opinion. It's the actual leaders of uh, a major, uh, one of the major political parties, and then people who don't uh, see that as an urgent threat <laughs> that are the real threat to democracy here. Without a doubt.